today as part of our black spot project where we really try to focus on topics that relates to black spot issues not having connectivity and so i just want to talk about a few topics and this is a conversation i have on the phone quite a lot so i thought i might just make a video of what i typically tell customers um and then i can obviously always refer to this and i i guess then this gets out there and then I can work on, on my um, wording and how I present it as well as things go on. So the question I get a lot is, how can I connect my outdoor antenna to a phone? Or basically, if I use the words that I often get is, aerial to my phone. Now, it's, it's actually a loaded question and there's a lot of problems here that, that, that kind of gets lumped into one question. Um, I'm just going to give a bit of a, a high level overview of how I see this and what I typically tell customers the, um, the problems. Um, so the first one is on modern cell phones, you know, smartphones, iPhone, Samsungs, whatever, there is no external antenna port. So you can't actually easily connect a phone, an antenna, let's say you put a Yagi or something outside, you can't connect that with a cable to your phone. There is no direct connection into your phone. Um, the question I then always ask is, what do you actually want to do? Do you want to connect your phone physically, this phone that you have, so the one that you normally put against your head, is that the device you want to boost? If the answer is yes, then there's one set of options. And if the answer is no, I just want to use connection or I want to get a data connection into my house or I use my phone as a hotspot, there are a few different alternatives you can think of. So, but first, how do you get an excellent antenna kind of connected to your phone. The easiest and simplest way is to use a cradle or inductive pad or some way where you actually have a device or a cradle where you put your phone in or something inductive loading of some sort that you connect against your phone. So say this is your phone, this is a connection to the antenna and then there's a cradle, they need to go next to each other. My personal view with my background as um, design engineer in antennas, I, I have my doubts. Um, I feel it's a bit of a random connection. There's a lot of questions and I almost feel that there's more questions than answers in doing that kind of thing. And I'm, I'm, I'm probably putting myself out there um, open for criticism and, and constructive or negative feedback. I don't know, but if you don't really know what kind of antenna or what kind of circuit is inside your cradle or your inductive load or whatever, you put it against the phone, you don't know what antenna is in there, you don't know where the antenna is, you don't know where the antenna works in that frequency. So if you are in the city, it works in a certain frequency on your network. If you're outside in the outback or somewhere remote, it works in a different way. So even that is different. And then you put the two together. By putting it together, you are interfering as well. So, and there is losses between the two. So it's, it's all a bit, I don't know if it's ideal, but I am going to find a way that I could test it and I'd want to see how I can make this understand, get this, my head around this. Um, if I find something, if I learn something, obviously YouTube would be the way to put, but I'm not even committing to finding a solution. I just want to learn. So that's kind of fun. So, but that's the one thing. It's really just getting an antenna into a smartphone connected. The cradle is the way to do. I don't like it necessarily, but it is the way to do. And we could help you find something. I do think though, use a phone specific model so don't go for a generic model but try to find a cradle that can fit your phone specifically the second way which is um i'd say the most expensive way but it's also a very good way is a, a, a repeater a selfie go or a selfie some product repeater or some legal repeater now I, i'm I'm not going to go into detail now, but um, mark my word, legal is the only way to do this. So do not go for a, a low cost booster that you might find on um, any, any website. It has to be a approved repeater. Many reasons for that, many technical, very sound reasons for that. So just, just go for that. But the problem with the cell phone is just generally it's more expensive. So you're looking at thousand plus dollars to get a, a, a repeater system up and running and it is only for one operator. So you can only buy a Telstra solution, then only the Telstra or Telstra um, subsidiary 
um, users will find a benefit. If you need an Optus and a Vodafone as well, you need a booster for each of them. So if you want a full solution that's generic, you need three boosters. So that quickly blows up to quite a costly exercise, but it's the way to do and they work really well. So if you have the budget and you think you want something that is just the boosted proper way to do it, and you have full freedom because the phone is not connected to this device. You have your phone here, your booster there, and you can still move around. There's no connection with the, like with the cradle, you'd be connected through a wire. With a booster, you'd be completely free and your phone can be, um, can be boosted and you have a good signal. So that's, that's one and two. So one is a cradle, two is to use a booster. Um, the third way is, I should have started with this, but it's really my favorite. Um, is to use a data modem. Now I'm thinking specifically here that if you are with Telstra or anybody Vodafone or Optus, you get your modems, you get a 4G modem with a package, so you, you go for a, um, a data package or a um, you know, some sort of broadband solution. You do need a new solution or a new SIM card, so there is that drawback that you need a, a separate package for it, um, but you get a modem and that modem has two antenna ports and well mostly two because it's probably a, a, a no a high-end solution well consumer but high-end using an external antenna now there's a few on our website that are really good I'm specifically thinking about the pointing MIMO directional antenna um, there's also the directional antennas which is more like a Yagi but it's we call it the lock periodic antenna high gain they are, that's absolutely the best way to do it for me, but the most elegant way, because you have a modem and you can connect an external antenna into it, connects to the roof and that can be um, your solution. We get good success with it. We get a lot of positive feedback from customers who use those antennas on their modems. Um, if you use a proper MIMO antenna and have a, just a nice MIMO modem that comes from your operator, it works really well um, and it's cost efficient. Um, so that, that's kind of the three that I think the, the most, the, the ways to get a connect, antenna connected to your phone. As on the third option, there is no phone involved. So kind of sidestepping it to another way to do it. So if you want voice, you can only use either a patch cable or cradle, or you can use the, um, the cell phone. If you don't want voice, you can actually use so many other options. And then of course, my favorite, um, with my hidden agenda, I am, RF shop, I need to sell RF shop products, is the 4G Cam Pro 2. So the 4G Cam Pro 2 is that data modem. It is an external antenna because there's an external antenna on the outside and it gets through connected to a cable with a modem on the inside. So you have your Wi-Fi router on the inside and you have a USB data cable to an outdoor modem and with an antenna. And that's, um, that's really a good system. You still need a SIM card for it. So there's always a, you need to do this before you can get it working. That's the way it is at the moment. Um, and that's the solutions that I can put on the table for the question, how can I connect my antenna to my phone? That's it for now. I think on the next episode, I will talk about 5G and external antennas. We start to see a lot of questions coming our way on that. Um, but let's leave that for next one. So coming out of this presentation, as I'm sitting here and doing this actual talk, I, I I thought about a few topics that I would like to cover. Um, so on a future video, I will talk about illegal boosters. I will talk about cheap solutions. And I will also want to talk about 5G antennas at some stage or 5G and 5G modems. Um, so if you like what we're trying to do with this Black Spot project, please subscribe to our channel. Have any comments at the bottom of this video. Um, if you have any specific questions, also feel free to um, let us know on our website, rfshop.com.au, send us an email or call us, um, follow us on Facebook, and also look at Instagram and Twitter where we also have presence. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I hope to have a new video for you to look, or to, to look, to see in the near future. Thank you, bye. Back with my glasses on, otherwise I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. 10 minutes. Not too bad. <laughs>